Hey guys, so today we're going to go through equations with brackets and grouping symbols. Now brackets and grouping symbols are the same thing, but it's part of equations and formula. So we've gone through some of these inverse operations and rules if you've looked at the one step and two step equation videos, but as you like as you all know, I like to think of equations as a game where we need to get the pronumeral or the, the unknown variable by itself. So there are a few rules and I'm going to go over them just so we reiterate them and you're not making any silly mistakes. Rule number one, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other just to balance the equation out. Rule number two, leave the answers to the equation in exact form. So if it's a third or a fraction, or a terminating decimal or an integer, but if it's a decimal that keeps going or an irrational um, number, please leave it in its exact form. Leave whatever is with the pronumeral to last, and you would have seen this in the two-step equation video. And number four, if there are grouping symbols or brackets, then expand them first. And that's very important to do here. Let's go through some examples. Now, some textbooks or teachers or tutorial videos will tell you not to expand the brackets. It just makes life a lot easier and for you to avoid any silly mistakes by expanding the brackets and then going through. So for example, in this question here, I want to get x by itself, but because there are grouping symbols, I'm going to expand the brackets first. So 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 3 is 6. Now I can use this as my starting point for the rest of my questions. So let's go through and see what I do next once I've expanded the brackets. Remember, leave whatever's with the pronumeral to last. So leave the 2 times x to last and get rid of the plus 6 first. Opposite of plus 6 is minus 6 on both sides. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. Minus 6, minus 6, that cancels that out. I'm left with 2x on that side and 8 minus 6, which is 2 on this side. Now, I have 2 times x. So the opposite of 2 times x is divided by 2 on both sides. And I get x equals 1. And remember, we can always check our answers by substituting back into the original question. So if I put this 1 back into the original question, I have 2 times 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 times 4 does equal 8. So I found the correct solution. Let's go on to example 2. Now I expand the brackets first. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then leave whatever's with the pronumeral to last. Get rid of the minus 4. Opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. Plus 4 plus 4 gets rid of that negative 4. And I'm now left with 4x equals 24. That's 4 times x. So the opposite of times is divided by. So I divide both sides by 4 and I get x equals 6. Again, you can sub that back in to check if you've got the right answer. Hopefully you're getting the hang of it. Let's go through example 3. Now with example 3, there are two sets of brackets. So I'm going to expand them separately, and then I'm going to collect like terms. 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times 2, 6. Minus 2 times x, don't make that silly mistake, Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Then I'm going to collect like terms. Now 3x and minus 2x are like terms, meaning that I can add or subtract them together. 3x minus 2x is x, and 6 minus 2 is 4. Now I have a one-step equation. What's with the pronumeral? Well, a 4 is there. I need to get x by itself, so I'm going to do the opposite of plus 4, which is minus 4 on both sides. With example 4, I only have one set of brackets, but I have something else there. So I expand the bracket first, 5 times x, 5x, five, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And then the plus 2x comes there. Now I need to simplify this, 5x and 2x are like terms. So I can add or subtract them. So I have 5x plus 2x, which is 7x, and the minus 5 goes there. And now I have a two-step equation. Remember, leave whatever's with the pronumeral until last, get rid of the minus 5 first, so plus 5 plus 5, 
7 times x, get rid of the 7, divided by 7, divided by 7. Let's go through our last example. In our last example, it's a little bit tricky because we don't have anything in front of that bracket except a negative number. Now remember, nothing in front of that bracket is going to be a 1. Just like in front of x, we have 1. So, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 3 is plus 3. Remember, a, a negative times a negative becomes a positive. Don't make any silly mistakes like that. And again, in the second set of brackets, there's a 1 there. So, it's going to be 1 times x is x. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Then, I can collect like terms. I have minus 2x, remember, the symbol stays with whatever is after it. So that's minus stays with the 2x plus x. Minus 2 plus 1 is negative x. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Now, just like we did in our two-step uh, equation video, we have minus 1x, minus 1 times x, plus 1. Leave whatever's with the pronumeral to last. So I'm going to leave that to last. Get rid of the plus 1 first. The inverse of plus 1 is minus 1. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. So the inverse of plus 1 is minus 1, minus 1. Now I've left with negative x. Now that's negative 1 times x. The opposite of negative 1 times x is divided by negative 1, divided by negative 1. If you're having problems with this, please go and check the two-step equation video where it explains that a lot more in detail. And we're left with x equals negative 99. And remember, we can check all of these answers by substituting back into the original equations just to make sure that we've done the right thing. Okay, guys, I have a few questions here that I'd like you to try. Give them a shot, pause the video, and then come back and check if your answers are correct in the next... Okay guys, there's your recommended answers. Hopefully you got them all right. If not, go back and watch the video and fix up wherever your mistakes are. Till next time, take care.